I am Mr. Munir Mengal, the president of Baloch Vice Association. The purpose and objective of my to be over here in front of United Nations at the occasion of 52nd Human Rights Council session is that I want to raise the issue of enforced disappearances, particularly inside Baluchistan, where our organization has received data from uh, Vice for Baloch missing persons. That's an organization that's based in Quetta in Baluchistan that's present over there. So the, particularly the family members of the victims of enforced disappearances are the members of those organizations. The data which they have collected, verified from their family members with witnesses and with the evidences, they used to send it, send it to us. So for the year 2022, the data which Vice for Baloch missing persons has sent to us is that more than 787 Baloch people became victim of enforced disappearances only in that year. And that data includes that there are more than 101 Baloch women, they became victim of enforced disappearances. So despite of the statements and claims of the Pakistani authorities that they are taking initiatives and steps to release uh, the victims of enforced disappearances, the committee which the Pakistani organization that created committee on enforced disappearances, that committee has till date done nothing, has not taken any particular steps for the safe release of the missing person. On the other side, if you see the number is increasing and the women, children, infants, they are become, becoming victims of enforced disappearances. And as per that data, the uh, more than 36 dead bodies, mutilated, tortured dead bodies, which they received on the roadside on different parts, uh, which the army has thrown them. Those are the ones who were the victims of enforced disappearances. And uh, similarly, uh, the kids uh, the, uh, they have taken from schools if, or with their parents, so they are a victim of enforced disciplines and there's no, they are neither presenting them to any court of justice nor giving any information uh, to their family members uh, that uh, what is their fate and what, what is their whereabouts, why they have taken uh, them and they are uh, not giving them uh, that uh, particular uh, judicial system rights they are not presenting them to any court, so they uh, they do not have any rights to, to uh, ask the state why they are victims of enforced disappearances. So at this occasion, our plea is to the UN bodies, particularly Working Group of Enforced Disappearances, Commission on Enforced Disappearances, UN Member States, UN Human Rights Council, that they have a uh, mandate that they should ask the member state that release those victims of enforced disappearances and uh, ask Pakistan to end the practice of enforced disappearances, which her forces are doing it with impunity and ask Pakistan to make accountable those who are inv involved in the uh, practice of enforced disappearances and ask Pakistan to ratify UN declarations uh, on the protection of all human uh, bodies from enforced disappearances and Pakistan should sign and ratify in that UN convention. So thank you. That's my call at this occasion.